YouTube, it's Indigo Windigo, and my Lush BOGO order finally got here! Yay! And that is by no means a complaint about the shipping time, because I know it was the yearly buy one get one sale, and everybody it was just like, yes, buy one get one, bath bombs and such. Please, Kay, thanks. So, I'm about to tell you all about it before I get my claws into it all, and it's all gone. So, let me just show you this little happy bundle of joy. It's all wrapped up right here. Um, I got one of the wrapped gift set deals. Uh, cause at the- ah, oh, bath bombs all over the floor. <laughs> cause at the time, it was the only way I could get the, um, the Peeping Santa bubble bar. Hello, Peeping Santa, hello! Uh, I shouldn't personify it cause I'm gonna crumble it up and it's gonna be destroyed. But it's it, it's gonna be so satisfying. Like if y'all have not yet had the joy and privilege of crumbling up a lush bubble bar, that is one of the most satisfying sensations. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, the wrapped gift set, uh, Secret Santa, came all wrapped up in this scarf. Well, it's, it's sturdier than a scarf. Uh, Multi-purpose cloth thing, and in it was Peeping Santa, a bubble bar. Oh, it smells very good. It was a Bergamo Neroli? I think Neroli is like a citrusy fruit. Something like that. Gardenia? I don't know. Uh, so I had that, and I had the Dashing Santa bath bomb. Ah, look at him go. He's running. Uh, he's not going to have to run until uh, this December. So you can rest for now. Rest in my bathtub, where you will disintegrate and be destroyed for my pleasure. Uh, so that's what the Secret Santa gift set had in that. Looking forward to using both of those, perhaps in tandem. What else we got? The only, honestly, the only downside I see to ordering Lush online is that some of the products can come a little, a little janky. Like, I got the, um, I think I mentioned this in my last Lush video, I got the Rose Jam Bubble Rune uh, from the onlines, and it came like, like all squished up and when I went to go see it and look at it in the shop it was all like nice and fluffy like a macaroon like it's supposed to be so eh. and like you can kind of see the peeping sand it looks a little I mean it, it arrived in two pieces but I'm sure it'll still work just fine should be no problems at all so naturally I got me some bath bombs because I think bath bombs are like my favorite wash product um because I don't have all the disposable income I would like to spend on all all the lovely body treats so I'm just like okay bath bombs I can do that so I got cinders um, and some of these things came just like wrapped up like some big jawbreakers do not eat so I got cinders and I do know that this one's got cinnamon I think this one actually is gardenia in here which uh, gardenia scatters negativity I think is what I read about it about some magical usage uh, so that's nice so cinders should be lovely. Nice flamey bathtub. Um, a little shoot for the stars action. I like the I like the comet. Uh, and this one, ha I know it has bergamot in it. Um, I do know that. And hang on, let me get the stuff up off the floor. Uh, I got the Father Christmas. Can you see his jolly old face? What a jolly old soul. And this one is like light red and white but it goes green in the tub which is nice and in the rest of this bundle uh the last bath bomb that i have acquired for myself is stardust and normally i kind of shy away i am spreading bath bomb dust over my laptop oh that's okay it smells good it's fine that will hurt nothing <laughs> I normally kind of shy away from like the um the lighter colored bath bombs because I you know if I'm shilling out for these things I like my tub to be dramatic and artful and colorful and just be like ah, I've look at that I paid money for that and I'm enjoying it thoroughly and I find the paler ones don't really deliver but this one is supposed to be nice and lustrous and glittery so maybe I'll combine that with like peeping Santa or something for extra Oomph. Who knows? We'll see. That's kind of what I like to do anyway with the pale or bath bombs is since the color, um, there's not so much of the color impact there. I just combine it with something else and then it's fine. 
Um, and oh, they sent me a little sample. They sent me a little sample, which I have not gotten before. This tiny little sample, little soap sliver. What's this? Sexy peel. Sexy peel. And I only just realized before starting to record this is that that's probably a play on like sex appeal. Sexy peel? Like, se sexy peel? I just didn't, didn't hit me. <laughs> um, so the last two things I got in my order are these two pots and I was happy to see that they had some black pot items, black pots, uh, in the BOGO section because as y'all may or may not know, um, if you bring in five cleaned out black pots of any size, it can be this little size, it can be like the bigger ones, uh, bring in five of them to a Lush store and you get a free little thing of one of their face masks. And I've tried, I went through a big thing of cup of coffee, which is one of their masks, and it was so good. Um, and what was the last one I did? Oh, the Sacred Truth was the last mask um, that I experienced, and that was lovely as well. Like, I'm really finding that 99% of Lush stuff that I try, I'm like, mm, this is good. Ooh, I want to have this in my bathroom every day. So... Uh, this one is Kalamazoo, and I know it's listed as like a beard and facial wash, but I mean, I have a face, and people with beards also have faces, usually, and I'm going to be starting, you know, HRT soon, as soon as I can get the therapist letter, that is a topic for another video, so I'm going to have facial hair, so it's fine, um, and like I, you know, with the loving of every almost every lush product I try I was like yeah okay this is gonna end up being free why not and it's gonna contribute to me getting a free face mask so this one says right on it says loaded with fresh pineapple to cleanse and apricot kernel oil and kupu wait kupuasu butter to soften beards and skin nice looking forward to trying that uh, and so last thing uh, is this love and light hand cream and despite the title sounding like a you know two-bit Wiccan vlog nothing against Wiccans nothing nothing against Wiccans y'all just wear me out sometimes um, this hand cream was got in it fairly traded cocoa butter as is to be expected with Lush because they're a company all about good ethics and, and stuff um, Neroli, it's got Neroli. What else you got going on? Neroli. Oh, it's got Neroli and like orange oil. So it seems like it's going to be a nice, uh, sunny, citrusy, sort of uplifting thing, which is good because I need that right now. Um, and this, let me show you in more detail. This is the, this is a product called a Knot Wrap, um, which Lush uh, sells separately in a bunch of different designs oh it smells really nice because I had it uh, all wrapped all around the stuff um, and Lush is really big on like minimalist uh, minimal to no packaging uh, which I love personally I think it, that's amazing that's one of the things I love most about them I hate packaging just the fact that you can make a mountain of trash from one trip to the grocery store even if you try to buy like you know fresh stuff I love that Lush is like, less packaging please. And the knot wraps they used to wrap a lot of their gift sets and included with this was like a little card showing you how to wrap up different objects, how to use this um, for different functions. And so I'm going to be using this. Um, and I don't even give a heck if it's like all holiday pattern or whatever, I'll use it all year round. I, I'm an adult, I do what I want to do. So I'm going to use it to wrap up my lunchbox and make it all cute and such. Yeah. Uh, so that is my BOGO order and I'm really looking forward to digging into all of this and having another um, few, I was going to say few weeks of delightful baths, but maybe two, <laughs> maybe two weeks is how long this stuff is going to last me, but we shall see. Um, and like with the facial wash, if I use this, you know, once a day, we'll see. We'll see. 
Uh, so if you if y'all liked this video, uh, hit that button that looks just like this, and uh, leave a comment below it. Um, if you have a favorite Lush bath bomb, like do you have a favorite? I'm working my way through the catalog, and so far I really love Guardian of the Forest. But which one do you like? Let me know. And until next time, y'all stay hydrated, get some sleep, and don't eat your friends. Okay, bye.